Yeah, let me know if you fall off a cliff and die. Sure. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I slowed down for it and I still got heaps of air. Yeah, I slowed down for it too. Well, I'm leaving a nice trail of exhaust. What? Because the, the damage to my conveyor. Did you not repair that? Not completely. I only just found out it was damaged. Alright, I feel like that motor shipment's probably going to arrive before we get to it. What's your feeling on that? Uh, I don't know, I'm just trying not to crash. Uh, let's head to it and then we can head to the medical shipment if it does manage to arrive before we get there. Are you nearby? Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. right behind you. Oh, shiny and chrome. Yes. Oh, that thing's in the air. Yeah, the missile container is a, seems like it's a flight convoy, like the one that we took down before. Yeah. Oh, I think it's very close to the headquarters, that motor shipment, isn't it? Uh... Well, they've got a combined... Yep. Let's abandon that. Medical components it is. Alright. Your lead car. Oh, man. <laughs> you have blueprinted that, haven't you? Nope. Do you want to get out and do that? Okay. Alright, my gun is live. My ammo is hot. Hey, careful <laughs> where you're driving. Getting a screenshot, sorry. Oh, they've detected us. No, that was the convoy arrived safely. Oh. They haven't detected us yet. Well, they will in a minute. Oh, I can see you taking fire. Yep, they took a few pot shots at me. Whoa! Ow! Uh-oh. What's wrong? I'm, I'm disabled. What the? Uh, What's wrong? Their shots somehow just ripped right through and destroyed my battery. <laughs> oh no. I um, took out its gun. Proceeding on... F oh, jeez. Alright, I'm making a waypoint. Alright, I, um... I pit maneuvered it. Hey, I've got a visual-ish. Whoa! Okay, it's still trying to move. Well, I'm running towards it as fast as I can. Okay. I got it. It had a large thruster on the rear that it tried disabled. Is it drivable? Uh, not anymore. Because oh. I disabled its large thruster at the back. <laughs> it's got some batteries though. No oh, good. We could pop one of its batteries onto your I thing. Yeah. Personally, if I go back to space, I think I'd be going for the cockroach. And this planet's real busy. This planet. I kind of miss having a planet that didn't really have anything going on except evil robots. Well, this appears to be evil robots too. Yeah, but they're, they're like doing things, they're sending convoys. Digging up <sighs> stuff, they're doing illegal weapons research. Got some medical components. What is this, some kind of hovercraft? Yeah. When we make a large grid rover, we'll be able to make a med bay on it that's separate to the one at our base. So what do you think you could do differently that would allow you to survive better next time? Um, not drive at it. <laughs> uh, how close did you get to it? Um, not this close. Oops. Thanks, Kevac. That's helpfully descriptive. I don't know. I was busy trying not to die and marginally successful. Uh, would would your truck have been more likely to survive, do you think, if we'd um, waited for you to be finished? Well, maybe, but like, the, where the battery was was completely encased in armor. Like, it's not like it was exposed. I just, like, ripped through the armor that was there and hit straight at the battery. Yeah, light armor doesn't really do much against munitions. It might, it'll stop one shot each. Like, one shot per block. Maybe I need, like, a decoy block or something. 
Well, I think at the ranges we're talking, the decoy on a vehicle as small as yours isn't going to do anything because the accuracy of the weapons we're using is so poor that it's just going to be a spray over your vehicle regardless. Yeah, but if I put the decoy so it was up, like, sticking on it on top. Are you planning on sticking it on a rotor and spinning it around on top? I could do that. If you want, you could give it a go. Be a rotor cop, be a decoy rotor copter thing. Do you want to head back? Grab yourself the battery, the power cells you need to build your thing again. Um... Well, how many do I need for one of those batteries? Twenty. I don't. I don't like. I'm, well, I suppose we got a few of them now. Yeah, I, I don't want to keep having to do this, but for the moment, I think to get you functional again, we kind of have to. Oh, I see. I see the G Corp ground base. Oh dear. What's wrong? Oh, that's not good. What's wrong? I thought I had more fuel in my hydrogen tank. Did you just die in the middle of nowhere? Eh, a little bit. Great. Alrighty. I am attempting a new technique of grabbing these batteries. It's quite simple. It uh, does have some downsides in that the batteries are quite close to the ground. Oh, we were supposed to be driving to the thing today. What thing? The flight research station. Oh. Well, we drove half of the way there. <laughs> no, we didn't. We drove a couple of kilometers towards it. It's still 15 k's from where I am, but we drove part of the way there. Here I am driving along with batteries as a bull bar. That's unusual. Well, that's how I picked up the batteries from the convoy that we attacked. You hit a kangaroo with those, so it will probably explode. How goes it? Why does Mars have to be so big? Uh, it doesn't have to be this big, it just is. Oh, I don't remember agreeing to it. Why was I not consulted? Because you weren't, you didn't exist. Well, I guess that's a pretty good reason. Well, maybe I could dig out myself a little cave in one of these mountains. For what purpose? And then I can build myself an Iron Man suit. For what purpose? Well, so I could be Iron Man. Well. I'm back where we found that crashed spaceship. Yeah. It's still not here. <laughs> what are you what are you up to right now? There's a back to base. Are you walking? Yeah. Oh, How I thought you died. I, gonna get there? I did die. That's why I'm walking. What? I don't understand. Well, I died because I ran out of jetpack fuel uh -huh. and then I flew out to where I died and oh. got my stuff. And you didn't have any jetpack fuel to get past there? Yes. Ah. Well, I'm on my way back now. I just grabbed a bit from the crashed rover that we found. Since I was fairly close to it, I figured it would be worthwhile grabbing a load of stuff so we don't have to come back too soon. See that air base up on the mountain. Taunting you? Yep. Sitting there with its beady eyes. Looking down on us. Like some kind of deranged Martian stork. Uh. Sure. Mm. I think this place might be making me crazy. Uh, I don't think it's this place, Kapak. I think it's just you. I've got the... What's the opposite of cabin fever? Agoraphobia. Yeah, it's Similar. Not exactly the same. Uh, uranium ingot shipment. Oh. Uh, Kapak, perhaps you should come out to me. You well, can't. I mean, that's all well and good. I mean, I could drive the, I could drive my other truck out. Are you almost back? Yeah. Maybe you should drive it out and meet me. 
Uh, but if I drive that out, I can't bring both of the vehicles back. Yes, I know. Um, I'm just going to drop these batteries next to your wreck since you've got that marked, right? Yes. Uh, oh. We we unless, unless you... Unless I come and... Uh, unless you fly out here with the, the power cells. Is there another hydrogen bottle here? I can only fly about two kilometers before I run out of fuel. There might be. Hydrogen. No. Uh, bottle. Nope. No. Wait. I've got I've got a bottle on me. I just went and picked it up. <laughs> it's just an empty bottle. Yeah, but I can fill it up. Well, but I'm up and running again at least. Yeah. Got half an hour of power maybe. Oh, I've got my poor armor. I can still see the uranium ingot shipment. Well, shall we go for it? Yeah, I think we should. Alright, let's go. Alright. Remember to keep at range. Yep. I can't really go in because I've got, well, a battery bull bar. That's fine, just run it into them. Well, they're on the other side of that base. Oh, that's not good. I think we probably won't. Oh. Oh. We will want to give it a wide berth. Yes. Oh, watch out for that big crater. On the left. So we're skirting around it on the left? Yeah, that's, I think, yeah. Not coming in from the left is probably the best approach. Try to keep our distance from the base. Yep. That does mean we're heading straight for that flight research station. Oh, that's alright. We want to go there anyway. This ain't no sightseeing tour. No, but it'll mean we... Well, hopefully we can learn how to make atmospheric thrusters there. It is a research station. Or maybe even something better. Maybe even some hydrogen. So get off this rock. Oh, jeez. I'm worried it's going to reach the headquarters before we reach it. No. Eh. Still got seven kilometers to go. Yeah, but it's got 900 oh. meters difference between my distance to the headquarters and my distance to it. Oh, there's an air base over there as well. Oh, wait. Is the flight research station the air base? I don't know. There's either two things or... Suspicious they're the same thing. I've got a visual on the uraniums. Alright, see up if in you the can... air. Oh, I've got a visual on the headquarters. It is bit big. Oh jeez. This too. Oh, there's something closer to oh, us than the headquarters. I see it. I don't think we can get that uranium shipment. Uh, well, what do you want to do with like Also surrounded... I missed what Mabel said. Did you hear what she said? She said there's something weird going on at some base, but there's like okay. 50 bases, so I don't know which one she was talking about. Yeah, there's... I, but I see stuff all over the place. Alright, we shouldn't go there then. Unless you want to investigate that thing that's close to us. Is it shooting at you? No. Yes! Yes! Whoa. Oh, you got lucky then. I couldn't see it firing at me. Um, I don't know, what's the plan? Well, we are 7 k's from the research station, but I'm also full. Um, maybe we should head home, build a large grid rover that can bring a med bay so that we can respawn nearby. Maybe build a large grid rover that can kind of pick up your little one, so you can drive the large grid rover. Oh yeah. And then you can hop out and take in your little tank. How does that sound so we're heading back yeah I think we should head home and then just build a very very like the rover doesn't have to be properly built just a battery and the rest of it a battery with I'm gonna say if we can 5x5 five five wheels sure just so we got big 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 wheels so we're gonna rebuild the crab juice uh why is my gun pointed up in the sky there's not something above me, is there? No. I mean, we could go check out the, the air base on the mountain. Uh, 
We could probably jetpack up there. Oh, I don't really like the sound of that, but if you really want to, I guess we can try. Well, I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to go to the research station with the ability to respawn nearby when we're going on foot. Oh. Just in case it is the base that flicked up when we uh, were close enough. You are right over there. Yeah, what's Looks wrong? Looks like you're up on two wheels. I am not. I am down on six. Hmm. Can I get up to that communication satellite with my jetpack? Probably, but don't. Well, I guess they did say we should stop there on our way out with all the information we've collected. I don't think we've collected all that much information just yet. No. I mean, I personally have no idea what's going on on this planet. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of at a loss too. So I have an idea of how we can build the rover based off the battery that's currently there. Loose. Oh, yeah. If we... So what I was thinking was, if we build a piston off our current base, lift up the battery high enough and then build off the battery. Sure. That way we can use that battery to power a med bay and have a landing gear on it so that we can grab onto the top of your rover. And we should be able to make it work. Uh, home sweet hole in the ground. <laughs> Alright, let's try this out. Let's see if we can just quickly do this. And what I want to start with. Oh, look at this mess. My poor blue thunder. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, can you build some solar panels onto our little base? Onto the base. Yep. Yeah, that's something we should really do. So that it's got... So that it can recharge the batteries, then it'll recharge everything while we're going as well. well this is going to be interesting. Um, Kabak. Yeah. If you set up the, rot the s solar panels on a rotor setup, we can use a script to make the solar panels follow the sun. Can we make one of those wind turbines? I don't think so. Hmm. Um, oh, can you do something for me? Oh wait, I can probably do it. I'm just gonna shove that battery in a little bit with your using your truck. Uh wait. That worked quite well. Uh so you want to you want me to build it on a rotor so it can follow the sun. Yeah, so build a vertical rotor and then a horizontal rotor. There we go, we've got a battery off the ground so we can build onto it. Do you think that's too big? Uh... Um... <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of wrapping itself around the base, it's going to be quite difficult to extricate it. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get the... I don't know how to fix that. Like, and still use the 5x5s. Five I think I'm going to have to use 3x3s. Three and go for a slightly different design. Now, okay, back. This thing is very important not to drive like a maniac. What? That doesn't sound reasonable at all. Because being large, if we lose it, we lose a lot of stuff. So can you see what I've got in mind for this? Uh, big wheels. Well, in terms of how it's going to be attaching to your little rover. Uh, you're going to make a big ramp on the back so I can just drive it on up? No. The split bit's the front. Oh. Okay. So I thought we could just have the ability, if we, if we have a connector that can hook up to your connector, we can lock onto it and then lift your rover up. Yep. And you... But then also, you could Ooh. hop in your rover and do a hot disconnect and land and roll roll away. Sure. Because it's exiting out the front. That's what I was thinking anyway. Oh, sweet. You've done this old tower. I'll set it up while you're doing the wheels. Wheels are done. Oh. Okay then. Okay. Solar alignment script is running. Now, what we need for your rover... Is the connector to be on some sort of piston? We'll probably come up with a more elegant system for this later. Okay, Capac, do you want to move your little rover? Because I'm worried it'll get squished. Uh, 
Which one? The one? Both, probably. Probably. Well. What? No, wait, you gotta call this thing. What? The wishbone. Sure. Alright, is everything underneath it clear? Yeah, should be. I'm just gonna get rid of this side of the gate. Alrighty, I'm unlocking it. Yeah. No, I'm not. Not just yet. I'm gonna do one what? thing first. Just got all set up to... Oh, you got rid of my little gatehouse. Yeah, because it's gonna land on it. You monster. Alright, it's getting ready to unlock. Three, two, one. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Help. I'm in darkness. Okay, can you drive your vehicle down past mine so we can see if we can get this thing to hook up? Yep, definitely too high. Yes, get back. Let me do a few things first. I don't have time for things. Although, I mean, I could raise this thing up to meet the connector. With its pistons. Yep. Well, I have another plan in mind. How's that? Uh, I don't know. Is that low enough? Uh, yeah, it should be fine. Alright, do you want to hook up? I've got a lock on here. Yeah, I guess that works. There we go. You're not the lowest thing on the thing on it. All right, our convoy's ready to go then. You good, Capac? I guess. I haven't patched up my armor yet. What we need to do is make sure we stay well back from the research facility with the big rover. Just park it at a safe distance. Then we can take our little rovers in a bit closer and then do the remainder on foot if it proves hostile. Uh, so, wait, who's going to be driving what? You're driving the big truck. Oh. Because right. it's got your rover in it. So that way we take two vehicles with one person? Uh, wait, shouldn't we... Shouldn't we build some storage on here? Isn't that half the point? Oh yeah, that'd probably be convenient. I mean, it doesn't need to be much though. Because remember, I've got my rover as well for cargo space. But the point of this large rover was actually for the med bay. That was all. Because yeah. we don't have access to survival kits, so we can only respawn at large grid. So I'd like to have the ability for you not to have to fly back and forth from our base whenever you die. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that gives you a little bit of visibility in front of you. Oh, I made them lopsided. <laughs> Alrighty, base. We will see you a little bit later. What a view. <laughs> well, obviously intended to be driven from third person. Oh, this thing is a monstrosity. Yes, it is. Um, but at least your spotlights can see it can give you a little uh, bit of visibility in front of you. Wait, can I not park brake because of the connector or is that fixed? You don't press P. Never use P. Use what? the park Jeez. brake from the control seat. Uh, which I've already put on your hotbar. I don't see it. Is it the cockpit one? Yes, it's the control. No, it's the yeah, the control seat. Mm. That is what how you handbrake. Jeez, get back. Don't use P, especially with that vehicle. Uh, why do you keep going over the top of these little hills? Uh, if I'm going to bottom out on anything, it's going to be going over one of these things. Well, I don't... I can't see much of the terrain. Maybe you should... Maybe just ignore me and pick your own route through. Uh, where are we going to again? Flight research station. Uh, flight research. Okay. Oh, man, this is a lot different than driving a little buggy. Yeah, and you need to keep a really close eye on your speed readout because... Your perception of speed is distorted with that thing. Oh good, it's getting dark again. Whoa, jeez. Maybe we should have put a gyroscope on that. I'm thinking that vehicle that you're driving is a temporary one. You don't say. <laughs> In that we will build a five by a five wheel 
five by five wheeled large group vehicle at yeah, some point. Maybe something with a bit more clearance. <laughs> well, and potentially with like more than just a two rows of wheels, like building it so that it's got wheels in the middle to make no it even wheels. less likely to bottom out. Oh, jeez, you're close. Yep. Oh, I see something off to the left. You do? It doesn't... I don't see a marker on it. What do you see? I don't know, like some glimmering lights. It looks like a building or something. <coughs> Where? Yeah, I'm directly ahead of me at the moment. I lost sight of it now because we've gone downhill. But Oh. Well, I think next time we will investigate that. Yes? I'm um, sure. Alrighty, so next time we'll take a look into Capac's glimmering lights that he's spotted. So there's all that, and plenty more to come, and I suggest you use your handbrake in case it's hostile, Capac. Uh, and we <laughs> will see you then. Did you put a cryopod on this thing? No. Well, now we're doomed. <laughs> <laughs>